Hi everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is my mom. Her Hello. name is Denise. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, my name sounds like hers. So Denise and Shelley's, I guess. Shelley. Yeah. For me, when I'm in the UK, yeah. it's very obvious that you are a black woman mm -hmm. and you're black before anything else yeah. whereas here I just feel like everyone like it just it's nice to walk outside or look outside and see melanated people yeah hello guys welcome to Median TV this is Median and tonight I'm coming live from I am Mara's villa in Yabohansi this is a beautiful night and of course we know he's been celebrating his 500k subscribers threshold and of course he's birthday as well and i am coming live with a very beautiful lady in the building you can see i'm not going to go to details i'm just going to let her introduce herself so that she can let us know who she is what she's doing <laughs> why she's here and where she's coming from hi hi nice to meet you nice to meet thank you, you for having me here oh, yeah, um, my name is shelly's yes. um i'm from london the uk yes um, I got here on the 13th of November, yeah. traveling with my mom. She's yes. been looking at Mara since he went to her island, oh, Trinidad and Tobago. Wow. So she's been looking at him for maybe five years, uh -huh. maybe longer. Yes. And she keeps looking at him. So I said, I will take you. Uh -huh. Let me take you there. So this is her treat. So on our YouTube, it's yes. called Life in Progress UK. Yes. So on there, we've got life in the UK and now life in the village. So we do videos about how it is to be black in the UK. Yeah. But now we're also traveling around, trying to do village life. Mm -hmm. I was collecting firewood, you know, mm -hmm. placing it on my head. Oh my so really trying to get in touch with like what it means to live a rural village life. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, basically ch lifestyle vlogs uh -huh. that we're doing. Yeah. Your mom is so beautiful. You know, you mean Thank she was you. like, let me take you finally. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Everyone keeps saying we look like sisters. <laughs> really? You do look like sisters. Actually, I would have said she's your elder sister. Yeah, yeah. And of course, you guys are so beautiful. And of oh, course can thank see, you. Yeah, you seeing like a black a woman having to experience the life in the UK and then in Kenya as mm -hmm. well. So, how, what is the difference, or maybe what experience can you say probably has differed or something? Um, so, the difference, I yes. guess, for me, when I'm in the UK, yeah. it's very obvious that you are a black woman mm -hmm. and you're black before anything else yeah. whereas here i just feel like everyone like it just it's nice to walk outside or look outside and see melanated people yeah and it feels really good like i'm home mm -hmm. whereas in london it can get a bit stressful sometimes interacting and stuff you know racism exists mm -hmm. And it's not sometimes very quiet. Yeah. Sometimes can be quite violent. Mm -hmm. But here we just have been so welcomed. Mm -hmm. And even just down to walking outside and people saying hi yeah. and they don't know you. Yeah. They were just oh mumbo. Like mm -hmm. they're just speaking to you. Whereas in the UK you barely know your neighbours. Yeah. You don't really mm -hmm. even speak. Yeah. Oh so God. I just I like the culture mm -hmm. here. It reminds me of my mum's country yeah, in Trinidad. Sure. Yeah. Everyone speaks everyone's welcoming everyone's warm mm -hmm. so yeah yeah no I, i'm really enjoying my mm -hmm. time being here very much in kenya and you know it's just crazy how like over there they see as a black woman mm -hmm. and uh, over here you're almost like white well yeah so <laughs> that is the thing sometimes yeah. even when we went to tanzania yeah they would be like oh muzungu muzungu mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 they're like Light skin. <laughs> but I have to keep saying to people, no, I'm black. I'm black. My mom's black. My dad's black. My grandparents are black. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all black. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, yeah, but it, it doesn't bother me. It's not as um, threatening as it is when people call you other racist yeah. words in the UK. Uh -huh. So, here, when they call you Muzungu, it's harmless. Uh -huh. But over there if they call you something you know the n-word or whatever it's yeah, more you know what aggressive I mean, yeah exactly yeah. exactly but in saying that i do i have prospered in the uk <laughs> yeah um there's a lot of opportunities and stuff but uh -huh. My ideal would be to come back to a place where people look like me and we, we can share them kind of cultural vibes and stuff that I, yeah, where I feel understood. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so I'm, I'm enjoying Kenya at the moment. So like you've been living in the UK since you were born? I was born in the UK, you were yeah. Born, raised in the UK. Born and raised right in London. And by what makes you want to come back? Are you sure you're going to adjust? Um, 
I, w- I will, I think. Mm-hmm. Do you know, nature, I'm always looking for nature, and Kenya is so green. Mm-hmm. It's just amazing. I, I'm really into like meditation and things like that. So the greenery for me is just, it's like it calls me mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Um, and I'm really practicing the village lifestyle anyway. So yeah, yeah I feel I'll adjust. I'll adjust well. Adjust yeah, well. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and I actually love the UK accent. Really? And uh, <laughs> just to go off a little bit, mm-hmm. you see your mom is black, your dad is black. Mm-hmm. So where is the, you know, the, how do I call it? The, the, the color? Yeah, the color. How comes I'm light skinned? Yes. Um, well, it's interesting actually because my nan, mm-hmm. Her, like half of her siblings are really dark skin yes. and half of them are light mm-hmm. so i'm not entirely sure where back that happened but half of so my nan was like my color uh-huh. but her sister was probably darker than you mm-hmm. exactly mm-hmm. so we have all shades of brown yeah yeah yeah, yeah exactly wow. um but there's no kind of i don't think i know of any white ancestry yeah, so most of what I know is that my mom's side of the family is from Trinidad and Tobago and my dad's side of the family is from Jamaica. Oh, really? Yeah. So you're Jamaican. Yes. Basically. Yes. Yeah, I, in the beginning, I almost thought you're South African, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've heard people say that. People yeah. have said that. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. No, I'm a Caribbean girl. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so now you're coming to Kenya mm-hmm. and uh, definitely and obviously I'm sure you've met, you've met Maro already. Yes, I have. So tell us about this now that is the first time you're meeting him. Yeah, first time. We met briefly, not too long, but um, he was amazing. Like, even though it was brief, He's very kind, very welcoming, very humble. I even filmed him for a bit and he was okay with it. Um, He was happy to send a voice note to my brother um, back in London to encourage him to do his YouTube. Because my brother has 80,000 subscribers, no, uh, followers on TikTok. Uh But on his YouTube, he doesn't really do it. So Mara sent him a voice note, like encouraging him to do it. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, so he's just such a a wonderful, um, warm soul, I think. Yeah, 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 definitely. It's very good. I'm supposed to meet him again tomorrow. So. I'm yeah. glad to be so naive myself. I'm so happy the fact that you feel all the way from London mm-hmm. to here. Yeah. Kudos, you're doing great. Thank you. I mean, so we are um, now meeting, of course, that Mamaro is either probably going to meet again tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So I don't know, what do you think about what he's doing here in Africa? And maybe what have you learned from it? How has it encouraged you or mm. another? And also, they say a lot of people don't support each other, especially when it comes to YouTubers. Mm. Because you've seen what he's done to the community. Almost mm-hmm. every villager here is a YouTuber. Mm-hmm. Just something about that you can comment. I think it's amazing yeah. what he's doing. I think it's amazing that he's even bringing together so many people from outside of Kenya as well, like myself. I've seen people from Caribbean islands here. I've seen yeah. people from the States here. Mm-hmm. So I think it's amazing that he has brought together so many people yeah. and it just is he's growing this kind of really cohesive community uh-huh. and it's very inspiring I think it's really good especially for young black youth yeah. to see a black man in the position that he's in uh-huh. because a lot of the times when you want a uh, person to look up to uh-huh. it's a white man a Chinese man and, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean but now we have an African black man yeah. that has a villa do you know what I mean? So yeah. I think that's very, very impressive. Mm-hmm. And I think it's inspirational for me, but also for the youth yeah. that are looking at this being built from scratch. Mm-hmm. Do you know, and he's got them around. And I think it's a good thing that he has them here mm-hmm. so they can see firsthand the work that goes into it. It's not just overnight success. Yes. It's real hard work mm-hmm. and you really have to be consistent. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I think he's absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm in awe of what he's been doing. And I only wish to be in a position that I can do the same mm-hmm. at some point in my life. Yeah. yeah, to give back. Do you know, the other thing that I like about him is that he didn't choose to go to Europe with his wealth or I whatever. Know. He chose to stay yeah. in his community yes. and help his community. So I think that's really admirable because yeah, really. a lot of people, they get rich, they go. <laughs> they go, they it's leave. Else. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But he's really um, invested here mm-hmm. in his community, the community that he grew in. Yeah. So I think it's really good that he didn't turn his back on the place that made him yeah. ultimately. So yeah, no, he's amazing. I think he's doing really good work. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Okay. So we should look forward to seeing you again in Kenya because uh, you said you might come back to Africa, but I'm sure probably that would want to be Kenya. Cause you <laughs> you are... I love Kenya. Uh-huh. You love <laughs> I, Kenya yes, first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. First time, yeah. And already 
I am saying to people, how do I buy land? Mm -hmm. How do I oh, stay? Welcome. I need to Come stay. <laughs> Thank you. I found to start now. I'm trying to learn. Uh -huh. Yeah, kidogo, kidogo. Kidogo, kidogo. kidogo. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah no i'm really i'm really loving it here i just yeah i feel really at home and really at ease so when you get a land up huh you're, you're in kenya yes huh. yes oh okay so, so, so <laughs> probably any last words or anything i haven't asked and then also a, a word to the youth uh you know too many people are looking up to people who've grown on youtube and mm. they want to give up a word to them um i would say if it is your passion yeah don't give up mm -hmm. nothing comes overnight and you know you don't build a house in one night mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you want to build something that's long lasting yes. it's going to take time so you can't just be like oh you know that video didn't get the views mm -hmm. let me just give up no you just keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing because i'm sure there's been times where maro himself has felt like that wasn't a good video yeah. or it didn't get enough views mm -hmm. where's my likes or whatever but he keeps on he keeps continuing yeah. so i would say to keep pushing mm -hmm. i think if god has given you the vision he hasn't given it to anyone else it's you yeah. so it's your responsibility mm -hmm. to see that through yeah. so yeah don't give up wow wow amazing <laughs> so last words to marwa to the people of yabohanse and of course to your mom your beautiful mom who <laughs> brought you here <laughs> yes well tomorrow thank you for what you're doing i think is amazing and without him doing what he's doing i wouldn't be here mm -hmm. So that's um, the first thing. Mm -hmm. To the people of Nebahante, yeah. I think that they're just such a warm, welcoming community. So thank you so much for being so warm and kind to me and my mom. You've welcomed us like we're family. Yeah. And it's really, really nice to be um, welcomed and adopted mm -hmm. into the, the kind of clan here. So I really, really do appreciate that. I think yeah. you're such kind people. Really? So thank you very much. And to my mom, uh -huh. who is the most amazing mom in the world. Oh. I just love her so much and I, that's why I wanted to bring her here because I think that she deserves to see these kind of things. Can she say hi? Mom, come and say hi quickly. <laughs> come say hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, she's like, just hi. Just hi. <laughs> Maybe, hi, thanks. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is my mom. Her uh -huh. name is Denise. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, my name sounds like her. So Denise and Shelley's. Shelley's. Yeah. Yeah, so she made up my name. Ah. So it's like seashells because she grew up in Trinidad. Uh -huh. So she likes shells. Uh -huh. And then her has her name has ease. Oh, so really? and I wonder Shelley. why moms do that because my mom did the same thing. Really? And she took Mary and Anne. Oh. <laughs> oh, a whole lot of surgery. Thank you so much, mom, for bringing Chinese in Kenya. I'm super glad to meet her and to meet you as well. And welcome back to Kenya. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. you can go sit down. <laughs> Wow, okay. Thank you, yes. Okay, so again, where do people find you on your socials? Yes. YouTube? So we're on YouTube. Um, I'm doing videos with my whole family. Mm -hmm. um, it's Life in Progress UK. Yeah. Yeah, so please check me out. We're on the road to 2000. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'll also take uh, your link so, mm -hmm. so I can link it down there. Okay, yeah, the thank you. In the description. That would be amazing. Okay. Thank you so much. Shower. Thank you thank so you. much, Anise, for coming to oh, Megan TV. I'm super glad and, of course, humbled to host you. Thank and you. Karibu, Kenya, Tina, and Tina. And uh, when you go back, say hi to them. I will do. Yes, uh, so yes. So guys, it's been amazing hosting Shanice here. And uh, you've seen her mother as well. All of them <laughs> so far beautiful. And I uh, thank you for watching to this. And what message do you have for her? Traveling all the way from the UK here to here at Yamahalse, you know, to meet people to interact. And uh, you didn't come. So what <laughs> message do you have for her? Be sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and uh, subscribe to their channel as well. I'm going to link it there. Let's get them to 2000. 2000. Yeah, it's small. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See you Thank guys you. in the next video. Bye. bye, -bye.